What is up everyone, my name is JP and welcome back to my channel. I'm really sorry, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, there's just a lot of things that happened with life, you know what I mean, like stuff. So yeah, I'm kind of following up again because I really miss YouTube and I miss talking to you guys. To a few of you guys. Hello darkness, my old friend. So I'm back, I'm gonna be posting again. A lot of different stuff's happening, a lot of different stuff's gonna come up, and just watch out for it. If you don't follow me on social media, links are in my description. Follow me on, on, on Instagram, it's at IMJP on Twitter, it's the same thing. Facebook or whatever, add me as a friend or whatever, please follow me. Please, please do follow me. Let's chat, let's talk, whatever, let's, let's, you know, let's let out some feelings, let's let out some emotions or whatever, you can DM me anything. Just go, follow me. So relationships we've all had one you know it could be a, a romantic relationship a friendly relationship but, but it's i think it's called platonic relationship relationship with with family with with co-workers or whatever we've all had relationships but in this video i'm gonna talk about dating while queer hashtag ph edition uh i know how it is like we have different cultures like if you live in america or you know in the western world you'll have like different nuances to dating and, and stuff. But here in the Philippines, it's particularly difficult. So I'm gonna explain to you guys the five major struggles that I had while dating. I haven't really dated that much in the past year or so. That was by choice. I had a lot of stuff to do, a lot like career and school and stuff. So no time at all whatsoever. I have had a few like, Eh, and eh, but it didn't really work out, so I'm hashtag single. Talking about dating, uh, yes, I am on apps, I am on Blued, I, I am on Grindr, I've used Tinder, I've used Facebook dating, all those other stuff out there, but I actually left some of them. Um, I just keep Grindr and Blued just for the hell of it, but I'm not really like looking forward to using them like every day. I mean, and the reason for that is just these five things that I'm gonna tell you. Um, it's, it's really difficult and this are these are like the five reasons why I don't date out of dating apps. Number one, the bisexual dilemma. So as you might have figured out, uh, some of you already know, some of you suspect or whatever you're thinking, I don't wanna, but as you might have suspected, I, I did identify as bisexual before I mean, just because I feel attraction towards both the male and the female. But recent changes like in, like recent realizations have made me believe that it may not be in that like blue or blue purple and pink or whatever that is flag i'm sorry no no offense meant to anyone i just don't know what that is but you know i'm really proud to be one um but i i don't i realize that i don't identify to that label as much so recently i have accepted and came out to like some people that I am pansexual like meaning I don't care who I fall in love with it, it could be like a male a guy a straight guy gay lesbian transgender whatever like as long as they're a person it, it's the person that I love most not the gender basically so that's what it is I mean and and the difficulty of explaining that here in the Philippines is actually one of the reasons why I did not feel comfortable coming out to that label before but I do now why should I be like, why should I hold myself like to a label that's not comfortable to me, but comfortable to everyone else? I mean, like you can hate me for who I am as long as I love myself for who I am. Uh, but anyway, uh, talking about the bisexual dilemma here in the Philippines, I think you've seen this a lot and I think some of you know this and I don't want to judge anyone. I just want to, this just based on my observations. It's like people here identify as bisexual all the time. It's like people are afraid of the word gay. Like, why are you so afraid of that word? It's like, I'm not telling you how to define yourself, but like, at least be honest with yourself. Like, accept yourself. Because there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with the term. If I only had feelings for, you know, the same gender or the same sex, then I would identify as gay, but I don't. And that's being true to myself. But there are other people who call themselves like bisexual, but they're really like gay people. Like, they're gay 
AF, but they don't want to identify as that because they're afraid of what other people might think because of the word. Why are you closing yourself down because of just one word? And that's one of the things that I, I found difficult while using uh, dating apps. Uh, that wasn't a particular problem of mine because, um, I, like I said, I am, I was comfortable with the word bisexual. Like, I wasn't comfortable with the word gay because that just wasn't who I was. But uh, when it comes to like meeting people, uh, they'd say like they, they're bi or whatever and that just turned out to be gay. That's not a letdown for me, but personally, I just would have preferred you be honest with yourself. Like, there's nothing wrong with that, right? People are gonna accept you and love you for who you are no matter what. Number two, the hashtag astig or dihalata. This is a particular problem that I had with dating apps, especially Grindr. Um, there were a lot of like, if you read the bio, there were a lot of people like saying they don't like the halata of LGBT people, people or whatever that is. Now, again, uh, personal preferences aside, I do not want to dictate how you live your life. But please, being in the umbrella of, of the community, being like under the whole community, the main point of this is like acceptance. Like you are fighting to be part of a community that wants to be accepted in the society, but you're shunning people because they're like too effeminate or whatever. Like, what are your standards, dude? Come on, if that's your standard, I don't really want to be in a relationship with you. Because just why it's if that's who they are then you don't have the right to dictate how they live their lives like if they live their lives happy with how they act you should leave it to that and take note there's a lot of people that has this on their bio and it's really insulting because what if i was the effeminate kind what if i was the out there kind of gay my choices are limited at best if that's the case number three straight swift now this isn't an issue that I had to deal with, but I have heard of this before. Straight Swift is what I call people who who are like stubbornly claim to be straight, even though they feel an attraction towards like, you know, a queer attraction towards someone else. The situation already is, is bad enough that like the LGBT people are like rallying towards acceptance and you're making it worse by making other people feel that if you're the straight person in a gay relationship or whatever that means then being gay is not okay because you, you're clearly gay but you don't want to come out as gay because the being one is not okay that's I, I hope you get my logic but I really do not like this because you have to be true and honest to yourself um, and don't push it on other people like some people say that I'm still straight dude I'm still straight like yeah bro I'm still straight but I like you like I've heard that said to a lot of people before like I like you but I'm still straight you know that like we can be together but I'm still gonna be straight okay like so, dude no you are not okay if, if you like someone like in a queer way you are not straight you have to accept that otherwise your life and the life of everyone else who is going to be in a relationship with you is going to be miserable and that's just one of the reasons why it's really hard to date here in the philippines it's like i don't want to come out as gay even though i have all these feelings and emotions inside like even though that's who i am i don't want to come out as that because you're going to be seen as like the weaker pe person so it's not just an issue with dating, it's an issue with equality as in general. That said, let's go to number four. Face factor. This is an issue everywhere. Right? Relationships, gay relationships. Face factor is really a big factor in, in dating. It's mind-boggling that at this day and age, people still see you by face value. Let's try to see people as who they are. Let's see people as, as, as how they are, their attitude, their, their personality, rather than what they look like, how they sound like, how they act, how they move, how they dress. Let's, let's cut it out, okay? It's just not cool. And that's one of the reasons why, frankly, the relationships that I had are with the people who knew me for like a very long time. So that's one more point that I wanna make. Like, just don't go into rash relationships. Get to know the person, get to know who they are, what they like, how they sleep, do they snore or whatever. It's not expensive to talk, like communicate rather than just like, you know, I think that's the result of like this, this, this Tinder phenomenon, like swipe culture. It's really bad. Just learn to get to know people, talk to people, know who they are, know how they act rather than just looking at them and swiping left. Number five motel or no tell 
Now this is a classic. This is a classic issue with dating as in general and the main reason why I'm not so into that right now. I get this text. Okay, let me paint a picture for you. I get this 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 message. It's like, asan ka? I'm like, sa bahay. And they'll be like, sama ka? Like, where? Like, I know what it is about. I'm not, you know, I, I'm not, I haven't lived in a cage for 20 years. I know what it's about. It's like, why do we have to go to that level? Like, do people not talk in coffee shops anymore? Do people not go on long walks anymore? Do pe- don't people like? Come on, I, that's just, I may be a hopeless romantic here, so forgive me. But that's actually one of the best ways to get to know someone is to talk. People always go like, so, bro, let's go to this place and let's like, you know, hook up or whatever. Like available guy and stuff like that I was like ew no gross I mean not I mean come on I don't want to be a hypocrite I don't want to say gross but it is like whenever I message someone that I like I'm always like hey let's go out for coffee let's talk what do you like what are your favorite movies do you like music that's really old school of me but it works like the past relationships that I had lasted because I knew the person before I went into a relationship and those that did not like move to the next phase of like being in a relationship at least I got to know them and like I, I spared myself of the heartache that this person isn't you know what I want in, in, to be with and yeah like those are the reasons why dating is so hard here I'm not being petty or not being like advertising like date me because like I said there's a lot of things going on in my life recently but I just needed to put it out there it's like a lot of you queer people watching this would probably agree with me that all these things that I mentioned probably played a role at least one of these that probably played a role while why you keep on looking for love that you're never gonna find because you know this so yeah i mean what i would recommend is like i said communicate accept people for who they are accept yourself for who you are and just get to know the person like love the person not the label love the person not the dress not the money not the educational attainment not the face love the person is who they are and accept them I will end here uh, with that note. I don't know the purpose of this video. I think I just wanted to put this out there because like I said, a lot of people already like talk to me about this. So do whatever you want to do with this. I just hope you find something good. I just hope you appreciate the conversation that we're having here. And we're gonna have more conversations in the future. Follow me on social media if you haven't already liked this video. If you like it, just like it. If you dislike it, leave a comment below and tell me what was your worst dating experience anywhere the philippines wherever like leave it in the comments and i'll be sure to respond and again till next time everybody as always let love win have a great day bye